Radio. Well, welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and joining me today at Comic Con uh, 2022 is costume designer Allison Pierce. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm having a great time. It's packed. It's loaded. You know, you just came off your panel today that you had mm -hmm. at Comic Con 2022. What was that like for you to be up there and kind of talk about your passion, really, in front of this crowd of this is your first Comic Con? So, you know, what was that like for you? It was pretty great. I mean, I think it was very like process driven, like talking about how I come up with certain ideas or how I design what a character should look like. So kind of starting from when I get the script, when I speak with the director and then visualizing and trusting my instincts with what a character should be basically. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, dude, your credits are crazy. I mean, you just came off of working on Clerks 3, you know, an iconic franchise, you've done work on SNL, mm -hmm. Ripley's Believe It or Not, just the cool fun stuff, you know? But how did you first get into costume design? Like is that, you've always been p passionate about uh, fashion or how did that go come about? I definitely thought I wanted to be in fashion when I was a kid. I loved thrifting and sourcing with my mom and I always went to like art classes and just like I liked making things with my hands and I grew up sewing and so I like naturally was like well that the next step would be fashion and so I went to Parsons and I hated fashion. It wasn't for me it was very I would say like closed space like I didn't feel accepted and I then had some friends who were in film school in New York and they went to the new school in Tisch and they kind of opened my world to working in film and then I started watching films like I watched a lot of Italian cinema in college really? like like Fellini like I watched Amarcord or like the bicycle thief and I was like I could do this like this is <laughs> combining all these different like ideas and passions that I love you know yeah I mean, that's cool. I, I consider myself a movie guy, and I've never heard of those. So, like, you're deep into it, knowing exactly yeah. what Italian you want to do. Yeah, Italian neorealist cinema. Yes. <laughs> I'll put yeah. that on the list of yes. stuff I gotta check out. Yeah. Um, okay, so you get into that, and you think the cinema, and you kind of do some early projects on. It's like short films and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You do things like um, a, a little, a little game, hunter game, uh, just things like that. What goes into your head when you make costumes for, for you know, for a character? Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, I think or research that you do. Yes, I think that a lot of it is very psychologically driven. So when I read about a character and their story, I'm thinking, you know, where are they from in the world? Are they from the United States? Um, how did they grow up? Did they grow up in like a low-income family or a high-income family? Like, what's their background? Like, where do they shop? What's their job? I'm kind of doing like this deep dive into their backstory, and that really affects how people dress. And when you think about it, it's like where you come from is probably affecting how you dress as well. Yeah, somebody from LA doesn't dress like the same as someone from Oklahoma exactly, or whatever. Yes. Especially in time pieces, I'm sure that you've done things period. that are, yeah, exact period pieces that are, you know, dated in different years. Yeah, so totally. That's crazy too. Um, and I feel like maybe kind of your, what would you consider your big break? Is it the SNL? Is that kind of, that happens kind of quickly? Because, I mean, you start SNL in 2015, which is still kind of early. Yes. I, I, I think so. I mean, working on Saturday Night Live is everybody's dream. <laughs> it really is. And I kind of just knew one of the designers and then they asked me to come on board. And I had at that time, it wasn't really what I was looking for. You know, I wanted to do features and I said, okay, yeah, I'll do this. It'll be a great job for me. And I learned so much working there. You know, you get to see your work you know, we get our scripts on Wednesday night, sometimes like 10 p.m., and oh then Thursday morning, 9 a.m., we start prepping. And sometimes we shoot on Thursday night or Friday morning for the pre-tapes, all the digital shorts, yep. you know? And then after that, then we go into the live show. So you learn to really trust your instincts doing things that quickly. So when I read a script, if something jumps out at me and I'm like, oh, I see this character in like a red blazer, uh, there's a reason and I need to like follow that, you know? I that yeah for sure i think you definitely like uh get that kind of thing going for sure with a costume designer can can you tell me kind of what the duties are like on snl are you dressing them the day of or are you like oh i come up with the outfits you know like obviously that but do you dress them too like is that how that no works? those are dressers they're okay. star dressers so um as a costume designer you know i read a script and I interpret what I think the character should look like. So I, that might involve anything from sourcing fabric to do the builds to make the costume, then fitting the costume on the actor, and then being there, and it's called establishing when the 
um, costumes first seen on camera or on the stage or whatever. And then on SNL specifically, each cast member like Kyle and, and Kyle's not there anymore, AD, Kate, you know, they all had their own star dressers. So each dresser is only responsible for dressing like Keenan for the whole show. Ah, so you. they have all the costumes that Keenan has to wear. And you know, they're like breakaway costumes sometimes. They have like snaps or Velcro so they can come on and off very quickly, you know? So it's like a whole art form at SNL. Because it's, you know, you're timed, right? And I the gotta wigs. Be this, oh my gosh, yeah. mm -hmm. that's crazy. Um, my question I was gonna ask. Oh, uh, what were some of your favorite costumes that you did on SNL? You know, or some of the more oh. favorite ones? I think you did like a holiday one that was really famous. Oh, Santa Baby? Yeah, Santa yes, Baby, yeah. Yes, that, that's probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah. That That's when um, Ryan Gosling is and Vanessa Bayer are playing kind of like a Pulp Fiction type couple. <laughs> yeah, and they're really obsessed with Santa. That one, Vanessa wrote and Beck was so funny playing like the fake Santa. I was like, I remember I was like crying on set, just <laughs> watching it. Comedy is so fun to work in because you just get to laugh all the time. That's so cool. Yeah. Dude. And I mean, you move on, from, you know, you're doing other things besides SNL, you know? You also did in 2019, you did Ripley's Believe It or Not. Mm -hmm. What's it like to dress Bruce Campbell? Bruce was you really know, to, awesome. To get his wardrobe ready or whatever. Bruce is very specific. He likes what he likes. He's, you know, <laughs> he really loves Armani blazers. Yeah, he's got great taste. Um, it Good was, man. It, it was fun to dress him. And, you know, he does a lot of events like this. He does Comic-Con all the time. So knowing that he'd probably take those looks from Ripley's and then show them to the world, you know? So I think it was cool to collaborate with him. And he's such a pro he's been in the industry for so like long and he's so respected so i felt lucky to Def work with him definitely the king of the con totally he for sure is yes and so you know as we were talking earlier you just come off clerks three an iconic iconic movie you know uh franchise from the first uh movie but what was it like you know dressing these characters now and you know getting the wardrobe ready because you know it's a, it's a new movie so you can't just put them in exactly in the old stuff but you sometimes you it is the exact old stuff too right yeah so what is that like that's true i mean we had all the same characters from clerks 1994 clerks mm -hmm. so a lot of like kevin's sister plays like the animal masturbator or kevin's <laughs> kevin's friend scott is like the chulies gum rep you know so a lot of those actors and those people in kevin smith's life sometimes they still had the costumes or they like remembered what it was they wore so it was like this combination of me doing research on Clerks, Clerks 2, and then like every View is Universe film that's ever been created. Cause you know, Kevin or Jay would be like, oh, I wanna wear, I'm gonna wear the dogma jacket in this scene. Uh. Like the red and black dogma jacket Jay wore, um, which was in like a case at the secret stash. So I have to have like the verbiage and all the research to go into the costumes and they need to make sense. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, you're, they're saying jump and you're pop making it happen. Yeah, you know I have to mean? find where it is. You know? yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Well, what projects do you have coming up next for us? I mean, you're always so busy and you always got a lot of things going on and I, I would definitely want to see what you got your hand in. I have a movie coming out in April. It's called Paint and it's Owen Wilson. He plays kind of like a Bob Ross type painter character. Um, that's The story takes place in Vermont. It's got an amazing cast. It's like Michaela Watkins, Wendy McClendon Covey, and Stephen Root. It's a great comedy cast. Ah. So I'm really excited about that. That'll be in theaters at IFC and probably other places around the country. Very cool. Yes. Well, where can people follow you on social media and any shout outs you may have? Um, it's Ali underscore Pierce and then Impact 24 and Alexander Creatives as my agency. Ah, very cool. Yeah. I, well, I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come see us at uh, Comic-Con 2022. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. For Allison Pierce, I am Heartthrob Rob. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled with a K. And that's all for today. Coffin Radio.